Kerry and Mayo. Places, counties, population centres, sure, but also strong, simple, magical words that prompt floods of Atlantic imagery in us all. Broad and warm in the human sense, they abound with land, both good and bad, similar populations, and that peculiar obsession with Gaelic football. Both are spectacular. Both are tourist counties, but while Kerry has built a billion dollar industry from complicit dolphins, lovely girls and horses with nappies, postcards from Mayo have the penitential loom of Croke Patrick. So in Mayo, what came first? The suffering or the reputation for being good at it? Mayo gave it everything. It ends in heartbreak for them. In Kerry, is the tribal distaste for arrogance really the ultimate expression of a secret superiority? The obsession with public humility, a pishogue in itself? How can Sam Maguire, the father of Irish football, so viciously discriminate between two equally strapping soldier sons? Kerry have won back the All If Mayo give neutrals compassion fatigue, what about the men thrown year after year at Irish sports' seemingly unscalable redoubt? Dylan, Moran, and Higgins have been breaking rocks in this gulag of despair since they were boys. While Kerry's Donaghy, their connection with the battles of that era, can swagger into Croke Park with a fistful of golden medals and a defiance born of delivery. Well, Joe Brady, what do you get at? <laughs> Whatever today means for Kerry, and it's a lot, for Mayo, it means another chance at proving that opinions are fleeting, character is permanent. Welcome to the Battle of the Atlantic Way. <laughs>